Oh gosh. <laughs> that would be just the most uncomfortable, what, two minutes and 42 seconds of all time. Hello there, lovebirds. It's uh, Lauren and Mocha. I was hoping to finish before she got up from her nap. Like she's a freaking baby. So anyway, welcome back for another love song. This is actually going to be the last love song. It is a very bittersweet thing because I'm kind of getting tired of saying this, but I just love making these videos so much. You have no idea. They've really gotten me through the month, as silly as that is to think. I don't know. I don't think I... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just know that they have uh, just been a lifesaver for this hell of a month. I gotta open the blinds, hang on. All right, anyways, um, I've been doing one list per week, as you know if you've been here. So this one is best love songs ever. 20 songs for the hopeless romantic. And I am obliged to tell you that Maps by Yeah Yeah Yeahs is number three. So now that you know the kind of list this is, this is just their opinion. However, they are saying that the song we're going to do today is the greatest love song of all time. They're not saying one of the greatest, they're saying the greatest. The greatest love song of all time is Magnetic Fields, The Book of Love. I am so ready to disagree with this, I can barely stand it. It's number one on the list, so I figure that would be a good ending point. Apparently it's going to leave me breathless. The lyric to break you, the book of love has music in it. In fact, that's where music comes from. Some of it is just transcendental. Some of it just really dumb. I don't think the best song ever written, love song or otherwise, should include a word like dumb. Right? So I can already tell you it's not, it's not the greatest love song. Just based on that, I could tell you right now. This better be cheesy and bad. Because if I relate to this, I'm going to be really upset. Here we go. take some uh, self discipline for some of you but I do hope you stick with me but I could tell this is going to be a struggle because I'm feeling it I, I hear you I got it this is not my kind of music at all I don't even know what you would call this they're calling it alternative mm, okay maybe just the band in general not this song in particular the first verse here is sort of half snarky and half genuine and I don't know what to make of that because the first part of this I really like actually the book of love is long and boring no one can lift the damn thing but then it got like it just turned into such cheese just like flipping a coin I love it when you read to me and you can read me anything Good for you. I mean, I don't really know what to say to that other than it's just like, I, I don't even know. Let's keep going. I have a feeling this is gonna be underwhelming and I might have to do another one. The book of love has music in it. In fact, that's where music comes from. This is some the part that I read to you. Some of it is just transcendental. Some of it is just really dumb. But I, I love it when you 
sing to me and you. You can sing me anything. So this must be for Morgan Freeman, right? I think this song is dedicated to Morgan Freeman. Because I would agree, if you think of it like that, I mean, Morgan Freeman can, uh, something spooked her. Morgan Freeman, I'd listen to him read anything and sing to me, for sure. So if you look at it that way, totally. But if you look at it in the way you should, I guess, it's just like, oh. Can you imagine, I just thought, that if this was your boyfriend... And he sang this to you, and you had to sit there and listen to this. Because obviously you couldn't roll your eyes, because that would be extremely rude. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that would be just the most uncomfortable, what, two minutes and 42 seconds of all time. You just have to sit there and be like, oh, my God, I hope this doesn't have another verse. <laughs> And then you're just like, oh, please stop. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> please stop singing. I'm sure for some people this is a very sweet little song, but I cannot imagine. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> the book of love is long and boring and written very long ago. It's full of flowers and heart-shaped boxes And things we're all too young to know But I, I love it when you give me things And you, you are the So this was just an elaborate, what's the word? Scheme? An elaborate scheme to get a ring? Isn't that your job? I know it's all 2023 and maybe we should not have gender roles, gender specific things, whatever. But when was this written? When was this? Back in 1999, yeah. Yes, of course. This. What's happening? That took a turn. That was just really unexpected kind of ending. Now all of a sudden it's like, I'm extremely materialistic and I want a ring. Where did that even come from? I love it when you give me things and you ought to give me wedding rings. It's almost like, I really don't know how to finish the song. I can't think of another rhyme. How about thing and ring? done. I was afraid I would be underwhelmed and I am underwhelmed. To call this the greatest love song of all time is just baffling to me. I mean even if I liked the song I still would never I mean this wouldn't be in my top 50. There are so many good love songs out there like legitimately good love songs that the way no way would this be anywhere near them. That's very interesting. But it's also so cool to me that people can have such different opinions on the same thing. To this person, this is the greatest love song of all time. To me, I never want to listen to it again. That's just, that's kind of cool if you think about it. So uh, I think I'm going to have to do another one. We'll call it a bonus, maybe. I'll find some other song to do. If you are still watching here at the end, thank you. For hanging in there this was a tough one to get through but i appreciate you getting through it with me i think i have to do another one i can't end on this it's just too underwhelming so yeah thanks for watching this one enjoy your day and i will see you for another one the book of love 
get it. Hope everyone is doing well today. I'm hanging in there. I'm using these songs to get me through. It seems odd that you would use love songs to help you get through an anti-love kind of month, but it's just, <laughs> it's a strange thing, but I'm just grateful. Anyway, 